Well, what's up again there guys? Brian here at 3 Chair here to bring you another episode of People's Questions. Uh, I believe we have a much shorter episode from all regulars, so that you know, keeps it simple and clear. Uh, starting off with the first question coming from Gokusa, and you want to know, how strong do I think Shepard would be if he got the same virus as Albert Wesker added to his enhancements that he had in Mass Effect 2? Well, um, I would just say he would just have some super strength. There's really no real way to measure that. Um, I mean, I guess he would have... I mean, I guess he would have some super speed, but it would be somewhat limited. He could only use it in short, controlled bursts. I, I guess you would just have a much more durable, slightly faster Shepard, um, who probably wouldn't have to rely on biotics as much. But, uh, I, you know, it, it would just be pretty basic enhancements, I, I would think. Your next question comes from Macha Wesker 17 You want to know, Now that I've finished Andromeda, which is my favorite character from the game? Uh... My favorite character would probably have to be uh, Jaw. I hope I said that right. Um, he's, he, he's, he's definitely my favorite character. Um, I absolutely really love the Ingarn race. Um, some people don't really like their look. I don't. I don't mind. Um, he he was kind of my. I, I mean, he's he, he's certainly no Garrus, but I would say he's probably the closest character we have to a Garrus in terms of loyalty, in terms of character development. Um, just absolutely one wonderful character. I mean, I, I mean, I didn't take him on the final mission, but uh, I was definitely uh, focused on getting his loyalty missions uh, out of the way first. Plus, I also thought it was pretty nice that we got to meet his family and got to meet his mom. I thought that was kind of cute. Next question comes from Zyborg136. He wants to know, what are my thoughts on the trailer for the reboot of Stephen King's It? Um, I don't really have many thoughts on it because I didn't see it because I've never seen It. All I know is that it's some freakish clown that's terrorizing children. Um, so I haven't seen the trailer, and I don't really have any intentions on, on ever seeing it. The next question comes from Matt Cruz. He wants to know, what was one movie trailer that looked amazing, but the movie itself was average? The trailer was amazing, but it was just average. I get. I guess Avengers. I think. I think. I think Avengers: Age of Ultron. Uh, you know that. I mean, Marvel does always does a pretty good job with their trailers, but uh, I've only seen that movie really once, uh, and I thought it was kind of basic. It 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 didn't really feel like a massive improvement. Uh, I mean, we we had already seen an Avengers movie, and I gotta admit, I really wasn't all that impressed. I didn't think it was a bad film. It was just something I didn't need to see a second time. The next question comes from HydrogaBlood881. Do you want to know, if I had to give Sid from Final Fantasy VII a lightsaber form, which would it be? Uh... All right, well let's go. Let's let's do this backwards because I already know which I would give him. But let's let's just run down the list. Number one would not give him form seven Julio. Uh, he's not aggressive enough, and you have to master multiple forms in order to even use Julio. Number six, I wouldn't. He would have. He wouldn't be Nyman. He would not be Sheen or Jim. So he just. He, he's not as dedicated as a power user. He's not as fast paced and as innovative for a Taru form four. He's not nearly as defensive as three. He's not as precise as form two. So really the only form he really could have mastered was probably C Cho. It's pretty much built to deal with multiple opponents at once. And seeing how he fights with a group against multiple enemies, uh, then it seems like the proper form to use for his spear. Uh, so I would probably give him C Cho. Next question comes from Santico Scarpini. You want to know, which of the following Dragon Ball movies do I prefer? Mystical Adventure, Path of the Ultimate Power, or Dragon Fist Explosion? Um, I'm not even sure if those are real Dragon Ball Z movies, or... Sorry, Dragon Ball movies. Uh, but I've never seen a Dragon Ball movie. I've seen Dragon Ball Z movies that are not canon and I even saw the two Dragon Ball Z uh, movies that are connected to the Super Series, but I've never actually seen a Dragon Ball anime movie with little Goku. And the next question comes from JDS Forces 96 he wants to know, am I going to watch the live action adaption of Ghost in the Shell? Um, no. I've never... I know what Ghost in the Shell is. I think I've seen it maybe a few episodes, but it wasn't really one of those franchises I got into. So, you know, I'm not too upset that the movie kind of bombed. Um, so I really don't have any interest in seeing it. 
And the last question of the episode comes from Abel. And you want to know, would I put Cole back into my Versus series if I covered his vampire powers in Intramus 2 Festival of the Blood Expansion? Now, uh, we, we've done Cole twice. Um, I can't really think of anyone I would put him up against. There's no one in the Intramus franchise I would want to put him up against. I know that some people want me to use Alec Mercer. Uh, but I think Alec Mercer is a bit too powerful for him. I mean, someone who can just absorb people, um, kind of, that would be kind of difficult for Cole to deal with, even with the amount of powers that he has. I mean, he would pretty much have to, the only way he really could win is if he kept himself at a distance the entire time. And I think that Alec Mercer in his base form can move pretty fast. I mean, the guy can walk up walls and has all these freaky transformations. I think that might be a little bit too much for Cole to handle. Uh, so no, I don't think I need to use Vampire Cole in any versus matchups that I plan to do in the future. And with that, those are the questions that you guys sent for this episode. I'd like to thank you guys for making this episode possible. If you guys have any more questions you'd like me to answer in next week's episode, be sure to type them in the comments down below. But make sure you get them into me before next Wednesday before I start filming this. And like always, thank you guys for watching. You're awesome, and I'll see you next time.